literally the next poke um, next encounter that I interact with <laughs> hello everybody and welcome back to let's play Pokemon black and white in the last episode we searched endlessly for this freaking drill bird only for it to literally pop up the next freaking encounter okay Oh my god. <laughs> I'm so mad. I'm so mad. I walk in here and I'm like, well, like, I don't see anything wrong with, you know, just standing here until I see th something. And, I'm like, as I'm walking in here, like, literally the first, like, second I walk in here, I'm like, oh, hey, that's a dust cloud. <laughs> And we have our new party member, Drillbur. <laughs> He's actually a pretty decent level too. 13. Nice. We're actually going to go train him up right now. In the last episode, guys, we fought Team Plasma. While we were searching endlessly for that freaking drill, dr drill burn. In this episode, we're gonna. I'm so... We're gonna train up drill burn, and uh, just for the just in time for the new gym. I don't know why it's stuttering so badly, but hey. Sad thing is it only knows Mud Slap, which is not the greatest ground type move, but hey. Nothing uh, Blitzel has at the moment can actually hurt us, so it, it's fine. It's fine. Okay, I guess a quick attack can, but whatever. It's kind of crazy. It doesn't have like normal like scratch. Yay! And then you. Oh boy, we're gonna train up our Drillbur for the next gym battle, which will be freaking awesome. Wow, all five hit. Damn it. Stop missing. There we go. If I can learn dig, that would be stupendous. I don't know why, when I started doing that, whenever I say I learn like a move, This is the sort button. Yeah. Cool. That was bugging me. Good enough. Is 
I think there's a Team Plasma event that I have to deal with first before even fighting. Damn, hit all five times. Good shit. Okay. Our team's about to get real fat real soon. There's in fact two encounters I actually want to. Eh, maybe just one. Yeah, just one because I haven't used one and I've used the other several times, especially in X and Y. Go heal up. And like I said, I think we have to do a plasma event before fighting the gem. So we have a little more time to level up. A little bit more time to, to grind. is a bunch of items I can pick up here. So I'm gonna... Uh, I believe that's connected to the dream yard, which we can't really do. So this is a in-game trade. Uh, trade your cottony for my pitalil. Um, honestly, you want? <laughs> Sorry, cottony is a better Pokemon than pitalil by a very wide margin. But I mean, they're both pretty good. So it's weird. That <laughs> DS wireless communication is great. Let's see. I'm fairly positive. I got Oshawa. Yes. There it is. You get a mystic water. Mystic water boosts the efficiency of water type moves, which I'm actually going to give my Oshawott now. Or my Duat, excuse me. You could also lie, by the way. If you have a grass type Pokemon that you want to give the, the Miracle Seed to, or the Charcoal. Uh, for fire types, you could actually lie and be like, hey, yo. There's another instance of the music changing. Anyways. Oh, Shiza. I want to see things no one can see. 
the ideals of Pokemon inside Pokeballs, the truth of how trainers should be, and a future where Pokemon have to become perfect. Do you feel the same? Yes. That's so. I think my friends and I should test you to see if you can see this future too. Challenged by Pokemon Trainer in. <laughs> oh no. Ow. All right, let's uh <laughs> let's swap back out to do what? Razor shell. All right, we're gonna send Drillbur in. This is what is called switch training. Sending him into a water type Pokemon, mainly because we're gonna swap him back out. I believe is gonna be was gonna be our best bet. Come on, do I? Timber always kind of creeped me out uh, because all the the veins on him and stuff. All right, let's finish it off with a razor shell. Should be an Oko. Damn, so close. There we go. Wow, Dribbler didn't even level up. I cannot see the future yet. The world is still something. <laughs> couldn't see, couldn't see what it was. Right now, my friends aren't strong enough to save all Pokemon. Maybe I can't solve the equation that will change the world. So I need power, power enough to make anyone agree with me. Now I know what I power I need. Zekrom. The legendary Pokemon that, along with the hero, created the Univer region. It's my turn to become the, that hero. You and I will be friends. Weirdo. Anyways. Damn. You could totally walk through that. So the next gym is actually <laughs> right there. Um, believe it or not, you may want to actually pick yourself up a fighting type Pokemon, which yeah, you can actually do like right now, actually. Um, 
you go just to the the west here you can enter pine wheel forest or pinwheel forest you will actually come across a good amount of fighting type pokemon let me tell you what Pokemon you can encounter in this early portion of Penwheel Forest, because I believe you can't really go any further. Correct. Okay. So, on the outside of Penwheel Forest, you can encounter three brand new Pokemon, and one of those Pokemon is Timber, a pure fighting type, and stays a pure fighting type its entire lifespan. Timber is a pretty good Pokemon, especially if you want to catch it now, um, right before the, the next gym battle. The next gyms are actually going to be normal types, which are weak to fighting types. Timber is a pretty solid Pokemon. Uh, he is a trade evolution, so keep that in mind if you actually do want to pick him up. Next Pokemon, of course, nah, he's here. Temple. Temple is actually a pretty solid water type that evolves into a water ground type at the last evolution. Uh, like the the wo the whoopers and mudkips before him, there's only a, what two weaknesses he has, which is a pretty solid, pretty solid Pokemon. Water ground is one of my favorite uh, two typings together. The last Pokemon. Let's see if we can run into him. Nope. We already talked about you, P-Dove. The next Pokemon is Sock for black and Throw for white. This is one of the very few times that... Uh, not very few times, but there is a few amount... Of Pokemon that are actually black or white exclusive and these are one of them these are essentially Hitmonchan and Hitmonlee of the Univid region which I can't suggest them in any circumstance not even going up against this gym battle why they don't evolve they stay this mediocre the entire playthrough they do get some pretty good early on moves and they drop off immediately after this gym so i will never suggest sock or throw if you had the choice between the two i would go with sock over throw though um damn you really couldn't have gotten one more scratch here <laughs> here you swipe in there that's it for this uh this portion so far want to see oh that's that's why I was about to say why can't I see the gem <laughs> um... yeah metal claw yes <laughs> give me an actually good attacking move This is going to be a really good time to start leveling up Drillbur, because there's a lot, there is a lot of uh, trainers here, and that also means that's some free freaking money. Hey, it's me, Trainer Zachary. That's exactly how I spell my name. Oh, this is... Alright, so this is Shaking Grass. And inside Shaking Grass, which I have not talked about because we haven't encountered... Son of a bitch! You can encounter Throw. 
from the shaking grass. You get the version exclusive Pokemon while shaking in shaking grass. It's fine, but now, oh my God, that was a 5% chance. That was actually a 5% chance to, oh my God. I hate this game sometimes. And the other 95% of the time, you're gonna find an auto gnome. Now auto gnomes, you actually do want to come across. Auto gnomes are a pure normal type, do not evolve, and will actually give you a shit load of experience. Like a veritable buttload. I'm weak to you. I always have to remember that ground type is weak to fighting. Because I don't think... I don't sit here and think, oh man, fighting breaks ground. Nah. Why did I go with Razor Shell? I'm, I'm dumb. It's fine because Duot also gets some experience, which I am A-OK -okay with. These rocks over here are for Rock Smash, uh, though it is not a is not a uh, HM in this game, which I always thought was weird. Uh, but you can actually break the rocks for encounters. I believe you mainly only get rabbit and rollers. You also get uh, specific items as well. I don't want don't want Drillbird to die because I don't want to run all the way to the Pokemon Center. Just for that. Anyways. Oop, 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 oop. I didn't want to run. There we go. Money, money, money. Okay. Oh my god. Look at that slither of <laughs> EXP. after this next gym where our team will be getting another team member. Am I talking on my ass? Is... Why did I do Fury Swipe when Metal Claw was right there? Ah! Sorry, my cats are attacking each other. <sighs> I 
Cat Calcifer is being a little shit right now, because of course he is. He always wants to be a little shit when I'm recording. Nice, level 19. Oh my god, how many temples do you have, my dude? Talking out my ass. I guess ground types aren't weak to fighting. Yeah, I'm stupid. Imagine. Was this the last temple? Yes. Hey, God! So there are specific trainers that can actually heal you in the wild as well. Actually, be showing as soon as I get over there. As soon as I stop running into Pokemon. Thank you. Challenge a nurse trainer and you win, you can actually heal at them for no cost without having to run all the way back to the Pokemon Center. So now, you get a free heal at any point. Preschool Juliet. Caught me. I know it's a grass type. I know I could be in trouble. But I don't think it has anything super bad at level 13. It's also a preschooler, so the AI is kind of shit. Wow, it dodged. I think Petalo will have something that can mess me up, but I guess not? 
No! God, stop glitching. Status awakening. Wakey, wakey, Drillbur. Oh my god, seriously? <laughs> right in front of the heel. Right in front of the heel! First fucking the first fucking tile. I thought there was like an immunity of uh on Gen 5, but I guess that's black and white too. May also be whenever you're not fucking running. Which is most likely it, actually. You're gonna have a temple. Oh, rock and roll up. Okay. Um. Oh, that's rare. So tired of random encounters. All right, let's heal up. Eight. 
Okay, let's go to the gym. As soon as I stop having a stroke. Or the game. Wow, whenever I look at, at this skeleton, I am fascinated. Welcome, I'm Haas, the assistant director. Since you were kind enough to visit, I'll give you a tour of the museum. The skeleton is of a dragon type Pokemon. I wonder which one. There's a theory about it that I had an inch, an accident while it was flying around the world, and be so it became a fossil. This rock is amazing. It's a meteorite. It, came, it contains some kind of energy from space. Oh, this? It's an order, ordinary old stone. It was found near the desert, but other than the fact that it's old, it doesn't seem to have any value. We only display it because it's rather, uh, it's rather pretty to look at. The gym, uh, the Pokemon gym, is just beyond here. At the end of the gym, a very strong, a strong and kind gym leader is waiting. By the way, the gym leader Lenora happens to be my wife. All right, and next time we're gonna enter that gym with a lot of preparation under our belt. We can hopefully deal with the gym and hopefully take care of. Uh, the just, just take care of things anyways guys thank you all so much for coming down and watching don't forget to enjoy the rest of your week and till next time stay awesome out there deuces